My name is Peter Toomey, I'm Managing Director of Agcon Telemetry Australia. We run our operations throughout Australia from our base here in Adelaide. We specialise in the manufacture of compact, low-powered solar radio data loggers that are used for a range of environmental monitoring. We do a lot of work in the water industry and in particular with irrigated agriculture. Here is an automatic weather station that gets used not just to provide climate information to the growers but also to provide reference information on how much water their crops should use. This unit's got temperature and relative humidity sensors, solar radiation sensor, wind speed and wind direction sensor. Inside the box is a radio based data logger that reads the sensors and then transmits the information via radio back to the base station. The next unit here uses mobile phone communications rather than radio communications. That gives us the flexibility to put out units where we have a site all by itself or units where we have a number of sites together. This unit's got a leaf wetness sensor to tell us if condensation's forming on the leaf of the plants. It's also got a combination weather cluster in this time. So this sensor has temperature, humidity, barometric pressure, wind speed, wind direction and rainfall, all on the one compact head. So it makes a very cost efficient compact weather station. This unit's designed to control two DC latching solenoids. What it lets us do then is integrate the on-farm monitoring with control of the irrigation. So growers can then use the one radio platform not just to monitor what's happening with their irrigation, but also to control the irrigation. This unit here is an example of our compact weather stations that we use in irrigated agriculture as well. So. This unit's designed to be installed in crop so that you can see the conditions around the plants. And then you can see if the plant's likely to be suffering from diseases or pest outbreaks. The final unit here is one that's used for irrigation control in surface irrigation. The unit's fitted with an interface that is allows it to open and close a, an automatic gate that allows water on and off of the irrigation base. This probe measures soil moisture at multiple levels so that down through the depths of the root zone of the crop, growers can see not just how deep the irrigation water is going, but also where the water is being used. So the sensors, be it soil moisture sensors or climate sensors, all connect to the small radio units a network of radio units feeds back to a central base station, which feeds the data in turn back to a computer. On the computer, we're running a software program, which is then used to display and analyse the data. So somebody who's working in this industry needs to be comfortable working with farmers, so people need the skills to install the sensors, an understanding of electronics and radio to understand how the radio units work, and computer skills so that you can understand computer networking and how to install and use software. Our software is all written in Java so that it can be used over the internet. The system provides an opportunity not just to save water but also to be able to save chemicals which has a big environmental impact. We use a weather station to collect data on what's happening in the field, feed the data back into the network and then the computer then runs a simulation that calculates the likelihood of a disease outbreak occurring. What a grower can do then is find out whether they can stretch the intervals between spraying. If there's still a residue of chemical on the crop, they can go longer between sprays. The advantage there being that if they can prevent the disease from occurring, it's much cheaper to control it then than having to put an eradicant on to remove it later on.